Diane, 11.30 a.m., February 24th. Entering the town of Twin Peaks, five miles south of the Canadian border, 12 miles west of the state line. I've never seen so many trees in my life. As W.C. Fields would say, I'd rather be here than Philadelphia. 54 degrees on a slightly overcast day. Weatherman said rain. You could get paid that kind of money for being wrong 60% of the time. It'd be working. And mileage is 79,345. Gauge is on reserve. Riding on fumes here. I got to tank up when I get into town. Remind me to tell you how much that is. Lunch was uh, $6.31 at the Lamplighter Inn. That's on Highway 2 near Lewis Fork. That was... Uh, Tuna fish sandwich on whole wheat, slice of cherry pie, and a cup of coffee. Damn good food. And Diane, if you ever get up this way, that cherry pie is worth a stop. Okay. Looks like I'll be meeting up with the uh, Sheriff Harry S. Truman. Shouldn't be too hard to remember that. We'll be at the Calhoun Memorial Hospital. I guess we're going to go up to intensive care and take a look at that girl that crawled down the railroad tracks off the mountain. When I finish here, I'll be checking into a motel. I'm sure the sheriff will be able to recommend a clean place, reasonably priced. That's what I need. A clean place, reasonably priced. Oh, Diane, I almost forgot. Got to find out what kind of trees these are. They're really something. Diane, 12.28 a.m. Looks like I'll be staying locally at a place called the Great Northern Hotel. Sheriff's getting me a rate. Sounds like the kind of place where when you lie down, you won't forget to dream. I was right about our suspect, James Hurley. He's in custody and will be out by morning. <sighs> Diane, if you could bottle this air, people would line up around the block, cash in hand. Somebody, although probably not me, could make a fortune. But isn't that always the way? Diane, 6.18 a.m., room 315, Great Northern Hotel up here in Twin Peaks. Slept pretty well. Non-smoking room, there's no tobacco smell. That's a nice consideration for the business traveler. A hint of Douglas fir needles in the air. As Sheriff Truman indicated they would, everything this hotel promised, they've delivered. Clean, reasonably priced accommodations. Telephone works, bathroom in really tip-top shape, no drips, plenty of hot water, and good steady pressure. That could be a side benefit of the waterfall outside my window. Mattress fur, but not too firm, and no lumps, like that time I told you about down in El Paso. What a nightmare that was. But of course, you've heard me tell that story once or twice, haven't you, Diane? Haven't tried the television set yet. Looks like cable, probably no reception problems. But the true test of any hotel, as you well know, Diane, is that morning cup of coffee. I'll be getting back to you about within a half hour. Diane, it struck me again earlier this morning. There are two things that continue to trouble me, and I'm speaking now not only as an agent of the Bureau, but also as a human being. What really went on between Marilyn Monroe and the Kennedys? And who really pulled the trigger on JFK? Diane, 7 p.m., the Double R Diner. This must be where pies go when they die. Diane, tomorrow I'll take Harry and the gang on a rock-throwing trip to Tibet. But first, another piece of this heavenly pie. 